Hi, welcome back to On the Waterflies. Today we're going to be tying a quill body clink hammer. For this we're going to be using some propylene white yarn for our post, some stripped peacock quills from Polish Quills, some black 6 aught thread. For the thorax we're going to be using some burnt orange SLF dubbing prism. We're going to be doing this on a size 14 Daiichi style 167. And for the hackle, we're going to be using a size 14 light dyed done hackle from Whiting Farms. Let's go ahead and start off. Get the thread onto the shank of the hook trim off your tag. From here go ahead and tie in your propylene yarn. Just take a few turns in front of it. Come back and tie in some more. And take another small section. Tie it in there nice and tight couple wraps in front and from here you want to just take your scissors kind of pull the thread or the yarn tight on the back end and just clip it off at an angle what that's going to do is as you tie down it's going to give you a nice tapered body From here you're going to take your hand strip peacock quill. As you see on these, it's a thicker here as you get towards the part that still has some of the peacock on it. It is thinner. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the thinner part as our tie-in point. We're going to do it with the black strip facing down. Work your way up to right around the hook point. From here, we're going to go ahead and you're going to leave your thread at the hook point. But if you need some room, just go ahead and make a few turns forward. Just remember, you got to bring your thread back. Tie it off. Clip out that little bit of excess. From here, I'm just going to build up a little bit of thread thorax. As you see, I'm not going all the way up to the eye of the hook. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of gap. That way, I don't crowd the eye of the hook here. And here we're going to tie in our th our hackle. So what I'm doing on the hackle here, so you look on the end, cut it in kind of a triangle with the feathers. What that's going to do is it's going to create a nice solid lock in on your tie in. Cut that a little shorter, and from there you can tell the bottom of this feather has more fibers missing in the top and what that's going to do once we start tying it in and doing our wraps it's going to make that hackle feather sit just right and from here go ahead and lift up your hackle fiber take some tight turns on your post this is where some larger bobbin come in handy here and if you get some strays like I started to there 
can always go back and cut them out. And bring it back to where your body stopped. So we're going to be using the orange prism dubbing. You can use whatever color you like, but just using orange kind of helps simulate the uh, blood flow to the thorax of an emerging mayfly. Kind of just work your way back through the dubbing, or if you're using something like peacock curl, you can work your thread through the peacock curl. Here I just kind of jump the thread back to the post. Just going to clean the post up a little bit more before we start wrapping that hackle. And just go ahead and bring it down, right down to the bottom of your post. Once, it, once you're there, you can take your hackle, you can start wrapping it. along the post and from here just kind of wiggle your thread through the hackle create a nice tie off once you get a few turns Looks like I cut more than I wanted to there. Let me redo that. If at all possible, try to angle your thread as far down as possible. There we go. Still got some more caught, but we can go back, trim it up. Let's go ahead and sneak your scissors in there just to point. Cut off the rest of your hackle fiber. From here you can go ahead and trim your post to your liking. I don't like to do that big of a post. Something about that side should work just fine. From here you're going to do a whip finish. You're going to whip finish along top along that post. So you're still going to have to Work your thread. Once you get that tied off, go ahead and get in there. Trim your tying thread. And go back. And snip any of these fibers that you got caught. And there you have a quill body merger. Thank you for joining us today on On the Waterflies, and I will see you next time.